Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, I'm back at uh, Kanye West. And uh, the reason why I'm talking about this person is because he doesn't give a damn. He's in a position, financial position, where he cannot be harmed in such a way that he can become poor overnight. So he can say certain things with impunity because much he thinks can't happen to him. Well, these wizards have ways to get to you and uh, you can have an FBI uh, ride at, right at your house in the morning, any morning, for any reason they want. So, uh, I watched the interview uh, that he gave to Tucker Carlson and the two parts interview, I watched it. And uh, because he said certain things that obviously were not in tune with uh, the script that he's supposed to uh, follow, being an African-American, uh, he is considered crazy. Why? Because uh, if you're crazy, uh, they uh, assassinate your character, therefore you cannot be trusted and uh, you must be ridiculed. I watched uh, the two videos and I have to confess that he's not crazy. Um, why do I think that? Um, you don't have to be an expert to uh, uh, catch a few things in someone's speech, which would be uh, not necessarily being illogical because you can find the PhD and doctors being illogical, especially when they talk about religion and politics. Uh, but I'm, that's why uh, being illogical, it's not necessarily a trait of a uh, pathologically crazy uh, mental, uh, you know, in the way these guys want to portray him. Uh, there should be very, very big gaps in someone's thoughts when he is uh, having, uh, like Biden, but Biden is uh, not crazy. He has other, other problems, age related. So uh, when he goes with an I one idea and then he just, just switches to another idea without any sense and then he realizes and it comes back. So he has little gaps and falls of, uh, in, in his thought process on his, in his verbal, uh, um, you know, whatever idea he expresses. I didn't see this in, in uh, Kanye's West speech. Now, another thing I didn't observe, I didn't notice in it is if you're crazy, you don't have filter. So that means what goes through there comes out. Well, if you watch that uh, interview, he is very, very careful in using certain kind of terms and not others. Well, you can say, well, mental uh, health, you know, craziness is, you know, it's, it's, it has different nuances and all that. And uh, you can have, you know, like uh, people who are very, uh, you know, uh, smart and they have mental health issue and they are doing this kind of thing, but they do not, they, they, they do not portray him as being that. They portray that he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's so irrational that he just says things that make no sense. Well, everything that he's not everything, but everything I could pick out of his uh, speeches uh, made sense. If you have, I don't want to say m a minimum foundation, a little bit more than a foundation of what he was talking about. He was, I would say, very coded. Uh, let's say he was not saying, well, the enemies of the people. He would not use this kind of words who would be straight, no filter. He would use different kind of, uh, you know, euphemisms or synonyms, a little bit milder. Or he would not say, well, that guy is in control of the mass media. He would, he would pick the right words. He was thinking because he was thinking of the consequences. A crazy person like this guy's say he is, would not do that. He was just have a verbal diarrhea and that's it. The consequences, he doesn't care about them because he can't think that far. No, he's not that way. I think he was very coded, very coded. And I was, I, it, it was, I don't wanna say easy for me to follow what he was saying, but he made certain statements that if you did not know the connection, you could get uh, lost. But if you know the connection, you say, he's saying exactly this, but he's not coming out straight saying it. So let's see this little article here where this comes from uh, Variety. And this is uh, by Kim Murphy on October 8th, 2022. Instagram restricts Kanye West's uh, account following backlash over alleged anti-Semitic post. 
West responds with disturbing tweets. Now, why is it an alleged anti-Semitic and they restrict you? And then the backlash. I always like when these guys call backlash. I would like to know how many people had something to say and how many people gave this. And I guarantee you that he's got more of this than this. So the, the mass media wants to portray you as bad, say backlash. And the first question that any, any um, how do you call it, uh, person who's invited at the show, uh, you know, he should or she should ask, it's a backlash, how many? And you put the other person in a position because that person doesn't know because he doesn't count them. He just heard a few people saying it or he doesn't like it. He said, that's a backlash. Or when he says, some people say, you say, what's the percentage? And you kill that person's argument because he's saying that. So you should be kind of like care because it's a backlash. How many? And he's going to say, well, many. Okay, how many? Because if there are 50 out of 7 billion, I don't give a damn. Okay, but if it's uh, 3 billion out of 7 billion, I give a damn. It changes, you know what I mean? Because you can't first, you can't satisfy each and every person. Okay, not everybody will love you, okay, or like you. So that's why you don't bother to uh, have the 50 uh, okay, but upset the 7 billion. You know, you don't give a damn about those guys. So always ask this question. Then he says, alleged anti-Semitic. They are or they're not? If it's alleged, why is the backlash? And then Instagram reacts to, uh, to his uh, account, all right, restricts it following backlash over alleged anti-Semitic. So they close his account or whatever they did, restrict his account because the alleged, it is or it's not. It doesn't work that way. And, or because of the backlash. It can be backlash. It can be controversial. But if it's true, you got the people who don't, don't like the truth. And you don't care about those, don't you? No, you shouldn't. If there's something true and people don't like the, what is true, they are on the side of people who don't like the truth. And uh, there's no backlash right there. So uh, Kanye West has responded to the Instagram restrictions with two anti-Semitic tweets. Now it's clear that it's two. Let's see. Writing. I'm a bit sleepy tonight. I'm quoting, okay? I'm a bit sleepy tonight. But when I wake up, I'm going death. Con 3. C-O-N three on Jewish people. The funny thing is I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jews also. You guys have there's no comma anywhere, so I don't know what that means. I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew. Also, you guys have toyed m with me and tried to blackball anyone whomever opposes your agenda. Okay, where is the anti-Semitism here besides the fact that, that I don't understand that, I'm going death con three on Jewish people. I don't know what that is. I don't understand. I don't understand. Do not. What, what, I'm going death and then S-I-C in parentheses con, C-O-N, three on Jewish people. I don't know what that is. So I'm sorry. I don't get it. So then because he says that uh, I actually can't be because black people are actually Jew, also, you guys have toyed me and tried to blackball anyone whom, whoever opposes your agenda. Okay, what if they are Romanians? That means there aren't anti-Romanians or something? Okay, following it, it, following it with who you think created cancel culture. Okay, who do you think? We know. Is it anti-Semitic or is it anti-Romanian or anti-French or anti-I don't know, American if you point certain people in charge of something. And this is not mentioning. Who do you think created cancel culture? That's a question. That does he say is uh, Jews or the French or Romanians? I don't see that here. You can say, where's the context? Where's the context? About the uh, cancel culture and blackball anyone whomever opposes your agenda. Is your agenda cancel con uh, culture? Is there any connection between? I don't see it. But Maybe some other people, you know, if all you have in your toolbox is a hammer, everything you see around is a nail. So if you have in your brain uh, anti-Semitism or racism or whatever it is, everywhere you see that, like for instance, right now you can say, well, Emmy is wearing this uh, whatever, tan, green, whatever shirt is. This looks like a shirt that uh, some group 
in history did this to this other group. So Emil must be a supporter of those, or Emil is wearing a watch on his left uh, no, wrist. Well, some, some other people uh, wore it on the rest, uh, left wrist, so th therefore he is that. You know, you can be like that, but anyway. And this it says here on a, on a single line, who do you think creator cancel culture? It's right here from uh, uh, Twitter, right here. It's on Twitter, whatever it is. Who do who, who you think created? It's nothing else back and forth. And it's about 179.3 thousand with that called heart sign. So they liked 179 thousand people liked the question. Where's the backlash? And then Instagram has placed restrictions on Kanye's yeah, yeah West account after deleting content for a violation of the platform's policy. I don't know what uh, is it or what is not. But anyway, um, he's uh, accused of this and then he posted something like this. In the following hours, following his restriction on Instagram, West took to Twitter for the first moment in some time, seemingly calling out Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg for his restriction from the platform. And he posted a, a picture with him uh, Zuckerberg, I think uh, Zuckerberg's brother, who's another one, and look at, look at this, Mark. Have you gone kick me off Instagram? You used to be my nigga, and I G G A. All right. So Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who has been engaged in legal pro process regarding a potential purchase of Twitter, responded by welcoming West West back to the social media platform. This is what Tesla guy said. He, after the look at this mark, have you gone kick me off Instagram? You used to be my blah, blah, blah. Musk says, welcome back to Twitter, my friend. And then you have 377,000 love heart. Okay. So I don't know uh, what's going on here, but I listened to the Tucker Carson tonight uh, little thing and he talks about, uh, yeah, uh, Kanye West. He talks about Zuckerberg uh, and um, Jared Kushner, Kushner, and I think Jared Kushner is a relative. I can uh, James or Jason. I think it was something like this. And he talks about uh, a meeting he had with these two people and how they looked at him. And I looked and I said, "Good job, uh, West. Good job." It's just a guy who has not much to lose. He's got a lot. The only thing that can happen if these guys employ idiots or employ other kind of idiots, idiots with badges. So if they employ the guys with idiots with badges, then it's even worse than the idiots with just this, I would say. So yeah, he, I don't think he's crazy. I don't think so. Uh, as I said, he was very coded. And if you know something about things, you make the, you connect the dots in whatever he's saying. And the fact that he's talking like that tells me that he knows, he knows what to say and what not to say, what's good and what's not good. Uh, a crazy person, as I said, has no filter between this and this is going to be bam, 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 and then realize, oh, okay, whatever. He's not like that. And it made sense. As I said, if you know the ins and outs, you say, wow, really? I didn't know this guy was over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, okay. The fashion world. Oh, how did he get 10% uh, of Kanye's company where Kanye has only 5% without him knowing and his, his company, you know, and things like this that you're like, yeah, okay. Good to know names. So I don't know if he was anti-Semitic for criticizing, uh, you know, something. It doesn't mean that yeah, if I criticize, I don't know, uh, let's, let's say Obama, all of a sudden I become a rrr or something. If that would be the case, then you would not criticize anything because you will be called a derogatory term immediately. And I don't think we're in kindergarten yet. We are on our way there, but I don't think we are there. So yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens with this guy because uh, it seems like these big forces that he already he touched right now with a little feather, they will go uh, on him to Purim here. Him, if you know, if you read about the Purim, you know what they did with uh, guys over there. So they're going, they're going to go Purim on him. It's going to purify him. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.